hi guys welcome back to another quick and short video i'm going to try and make this a very short uh, video because if you are not in south africa you might not be aware of this there is something called a load shedding and that's going on where we are in south africa power outages power outages so i'm just going to try and make uh, this uh, video as quick and short basically what we're going to do i'm going to try and help some of you guys in your comments uh, answer some of your questions and help you maybe give you direction of what you need to do in order to turn uh, that strategy into your own forex uh, robot so let's get into it uh, by the way if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing that's how you are not going to miss any of our future videos uh, like the video see the links in the description box below uh, there are links to uh, blogs where you can download free forex robots free indicators free courses everything that you might need in your trading as well as the broker that i use many people always ask me about the broker that i use i believe they are one of the best brokers for just five dollars you can open a real life trading account Account, which you then can use to test some of these uh, robots well if you enjoy testing things in demo well good for you but uh, if you want to test things in real life market conditions for, for example you give the robot five dollars and then you test it out and see if it can grow that five dollars you can set up with my broker the link is the description box below you set up with them the broker makes money the robot makes money grows that five dollars then you know you have got a winner on your hands okay so uh let's get into some of your questions uh i don't know how many i'm going to do because i don't know if uh, power is going to go out anytime soon now but in any case i'm going to try and cover your concerns as quickly as possible so i was drawn to this comment by azoro chuku roland I do apologize if I am murdering your surname. Uh, I do apologize, sorry for that, uh, Mr. Azorochuku Roland. So he says, please how, please how we create a bot to close or trade when trend changes using moving average. Okay, I think I understand what he's trying to say. If I'm not understanding it, uh, in any case, maybe I made an effort. So let's go to FX Streamer. Uh, this is a previous robot that we just did in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, you can go ahead and watch uh, that. And we just uh, delete that. So I'm not sure whether he wants this to be a uh, part of an existing robot or he just wants uh, some some tool to close uh, trades when uh, this happens but in any case what you probably want to do is to have uh, we'll go here we we'll go to time filters so you go to time filters then here we are going to go to once per bar our one of our favorite bars you already know how we use uh, this bar and we basically we leave it once per bar because we are going to check for conditions we are going to check uh, that these conditions are going to be there so uh, this is on a video that i did uh, about how to create um, a robot to close all uh, trades in profit so he wants probably a robot that can uh, uh, close all trades once price uh, uh, crosses the moving average that's what I'm trying to get from here I mean it's just one sentence uh, so uh, um, I don't know I'm free to uh, get to my own conclusions so what you are going to do is you're going to go to once per bar or maybe you're going to have your 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 whatever robot uh, here but then you're going to have uh, once per bar what we are going to do once per bar is then we are going to take our condition and we are going to link it like that and we are going to link it like that i don't know the conditions that you have on your robot but anyway he says using moving average okay so that, that's clear that's clear uh moving average so what you're going to do is you're then going to double click and go in there and we are going to say uh once price so we're going to look for candle so i'm going to use the 
previous candle which is candle zero uh, candle one candle zero is the uh, candle that is still open that is not yet closed so it's important that you understand candle ids when you are creating these uh, robots candle zero is the immediate candle that you are looking at that is still jumping up and down jumping up and down that is not yet closed that's candle zero then the previous candle that closed is candle one so we are going to use candle one because we want price to actually close below the moving average so we are saying uh, here so we can set for either below or above uh, whatever uh, uh, trend or trades uh, that you are trying to uh, close so maybe for this we we'll set for uh, buys so we'll say when uh, candle is gone below we're going to choose crossover when it crosses over moving average then here you're going to set whatever moving average period that you want uh, then uh, whatever moving average method uh, uh, that you want and then you whatever settings that you have but that's moving average so as long as uh, candle one is closed or crossed and closed below moving average 20 we are going to ways uh, uh, that close trades close trades so double click and go in there we are going to filter you can filter this by type so we are going to close all the buys because now price has gone below our moving average our moving average was moving this way and now price has uh, gone below that we are going to close all trades so uh, that should be it this uh, should be it uh, then for the sales for the sales uh, again i'm i'm if I leave out something is because I'm thinking a lot shading, lot shading very soon, lot shading very soon. Uh, but I'm just thinking this is how you should uh, be going about it. Then to close the sales again, you go once per bar and you go to condition and you just link it uh, like that and double click and go in there. We want um, candle, candle one to be above moving average 20 then we know that our our whatever our cells are no longer valid and then we come here again close trades so in this one we are then going to close the cells so that should help you uh, that should help you if I left out something uh, tell me but uh, um, I, I, I think this uh, should uh, help answer uh, this uh, thing make a video on how to add a bucket of trades uh, button I, I'm, I'm hoping that's not the notification for load shedding uh, make a video on how to add bucket of trades button make a video on how to add bucket of trades button i've previously done a video on the channel on how to add uh, buttons uh, uh, a robot with uh, buttons uh, it's, it's actually here yes there's a suggestion here uh, let's uh, create uh, a robot with uh, buy sell buttons i don't know if it's what you are talking about and there's another one here as well so if you go on the channel if you go on the channel uh, watch those videos and see if it's what you're talking about or you are talking about something entirely uh, different um, uh, wa fuller tedious i'm hoping i pronounce this well uh, I'm, I'm so sorry for that uh, but uh, thank you say uh, thank you thank you uh, it's good to hear uh, uh, thank you once in a while if uh, somebody has found value in one video uh, you might not find value in all the videos but if you just find value in one video then uh, just like the video uh, subscribe uh, again uh, encourage your friends to come and watch the videos as well okay oh god please i need zone recovery ea please 
okay uh this is an interesting challenge i'll probably have to uh, look into this uh, zone recovery i need to actually even understand what uh, strategy is this uh, uh unfortunately uh, i do not uh, know or every other uh, strategy that's out there or the terminologies maybe the terminology is confusing me so i'll have to google this what is zone recovery strategy then see how we can turn that into a forex robot okay uh let's uh see some more questions uh i don't know almost my time is almost up um how thanks for the work but how to run those robots on mt4 to start working for you i think you can just install uh either the executable file or the um, mql4 uh, file into your metatrader i think i've shown you on this channel how to uh, work with mql4 mql5 uh, files already if that's not clear enough i'm sure there are many other videos uh, on youtube uh, that will show you how to do that can you make a video how to make an to make an ea to trade with arrows please okay uh let me see if uh, with the time that i have if i still have time to do that try zoom out your chat we can hardly see what you're doing i do try to save my videos uh in hd in hd i'm hoping that you are you are able to change the quality of a video on your youtube of course probably it's going to uh you chow uh, your data if you are on your on a low bandwidth uh line or if you have limited it to only play videos on this other stuff or uh, it might not be clear but uh, this is hd this video is saved in hd i do try to save the videos in hd of course sometimes uh, uh maybe i make a mistake here and there but uh, this video you can see you can watch it in hd so i'm hoping that this uh answers uh, this you, you can simply uh, put this in hd and you can uh, increase the screen uh like that and uh, everything should be uh, fine then uh of course hd kind of chows more data that's why uh people just set it to auto so that uh they can also maybe set it to 480 i think 480 is the popular one with people wanting to save uh, data so let's go to the last one i'm hoping let's we can do this quick uh can you make a video on how to make ea to trade with arrows please so i'm assuming uh let me quickly just do that uh, i'm just going to give an example uh, and i'm going to do this off the top of my head uh, check trades basically no trade then uh, once uh, pay bar we just uh, link it like that condition we are going to say maybe just going to set uh, set a robot uh, to do buying and double click and moving average we want the moving average when it crosses above moving average 5 when it crosses above moving average 20 or sma whatever now we don't want i think what he's saying is he doesn't want us to buy now he probably wants the robot to show him a signal so instead of having the buy now uh, block here or you can include it I, uh, i'm not sure i'm trying to understand the question you probably come here and you say draw arrow that's what you can do you can delete this and you can simply do that draw arrow double click in there and you are going to say arrow up because we are just we just set this condition for a buy so we want the arrow type to be up so that's the arrow up or you can use all these other various uh, signs but we you said arrow so that's an arrow up and we can then go and let's see I think there should be something of about colors or something like that um, there should be something about colors yes yeah <coughs> sorry 
here you can choose the color that you want for the arrow maybe you probably are going to choose a, a green or blue where is uh where's my green where's my green there's a lot of colors here a lot where's where's green where's blue okay let's just take a royal blue there then uh some of these uh settings uh you don't really need to mind them much uh but play with them play with them feel free to play with these things uh, my purpose with these videos is not to give you everything but it's going to give you the basics then you can experiment and you take it and you make it your own so if you want to trade uh with uh with arrows like he's saying i'm sure he just wants the robot to show him signals then he can decide whether to buy or to ignore that signal so instead of uh having the buy block here yeah, you just leave a uh, draw arrow uh again you can simply copy uh, this uh and put it for the sell side uh this is just a simple uh um, moving average cross robot and then you just go in there and uh, then you can say add the cross and update then as we draw the arrow we double click and go in there we want the arrow this time to be down because we are on a cell and we come to standard property and deep pink or red or whatever color that you want oh i actually now saw where the blue is and you update and if you want uh the colors uh there to be uh, blue there is blue for the buy so i'm hoping this uh, video has helped some of you guys i'm trying really to answer everybody who is asking me questions uh if i've not answered your questions uh i apologize but i'm trying to get to your questions as well so keep watching i'll see you in the next one bye